So good morning, welcome to the vlog. Friday morning, the sun's just come up over there in the distance. I'm in my junk room and we're going to start building this wheel this morning, this front wheel. Front wheels are easy to start with. So that's the book that I bought. I don't know if you can see that because of the sun. If I just pull this across a bit, there you go, so that's a bit better isn't it? So that's the book that I bought and this is dated 1983 so this is all theory and all sorts of stuff about building wheels. So um, again if I just hold it here. So I used to read this and study this. the different sort of forces acting on the wheel, how to lace the wheel, choices, all that sort of stuff. So I don't really use that anymore because of course the internet these days is so much better. So this has got a sport calculator on the bike. So for calculating sport lengths, if I'm building a brand new wheel, I just use an internet based sport calculator. There's plenty out there, just do a Google search, Google search. but I suggest play with a, an old wheel first start to true it, you know, undo all the sports, true it back up, then take it apart, put it back together, that sort of thing, and then build one. Just dive in and build one. So, tools for the job. I've obviously got sport key, screwdriver, wheel trimming jig. So this one came from um, to Minova one by the way that came from a local old guy a few miles away who passed away and um, my friend Neil managed to acquire it for me because that's the same one that Neil uses in his shop it's got another addition on but it's the same thing and then addition tool and again that came from the same old guy that used to build and service bikes locally, sort of in his, I think he was a bike mechanic, but so that will be a Minova addition tool, you can do it without those, I'll show you a way of doing that. Don't need those just yet, so I'll put those down there. I've obviously got my hub, and I've put the quick release in, and I've put the quick release in so that when you sat on the bike, the quick release will be that way around, with this bit on the drive side, that on the non-drive side, your handle, your quick release lever and then when you sat above it you'll be able to see the logo the Shimano writing so you can read it towards you obviously for you it's backwards and then I'm going to use that and I'm going to orientate it when I, when I assemble the wheel that way around I've got all my spokes that I've prepared these are the ones I just dismantled from the previous wheel. Sapim spokes as I said. I've cleaned them all up because they were quite dirty. Uh, they've still got the odd mark where the previous crossings were the previous lacings. And I've got my old nipples that again, sport nipples that again they were a bit marked. I've cleaned them up. So they're all ready to assemble. And I've got my rim obviously. Now with the rim You've got to find the valve hole because you're going to start at the valve hole or near the valve hole next door and you'll notice that the the bits where you put the spokes through the eyelets aren't in a line on this rim they're offset so one's up one's down one's up one's down and they're offset towards the side that you put your spoke in so you've got to orientate the rim the right way up as well so that when the hub's in the correct position and we find that first spot which I'll talk about in a minute it's going on the right side so that it's either that way around or that way around depending which way the eyelets are facing now where's my hole gone? of course it's opposite your label usually it's usually halfway opposite so I would guess that it's going to be that way around with the writing to this side. But we'll check that in a minute when I get there. There's plenty of YouTube videos on how to build wheels. 
so I'm not going to tell you how to build it, I'm just going to do it and I'll talk as I go along and I'll link in, a descrip in the description a really good one that I think is really good that's been put up recently um, there's loads out there, some are better than others but the one guy that I saw yesterday when I was just having a quick look is really quite good and he does it pretty much how I do it as well apart from one bit which I'll talk about at the end right so I'm going to pause because I've got a coffee as well Cheers, hashtag coffee for Duncan. Sorry, Frosty, not tea. Um, and I'll get ready and I'll, I'll start in a minute. Right, so I've just had a slurp of coffee. I've undone my spokes, I've laid them down on my table. I've got everything ready. Let's start. So, where's my pub? Here it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a load of spokes and I'm going to start dropping them in. I want the logo to line up so that it comes through the valve hole. Sorry, so that when you look through the valve hole you see the logo. And to do that what you do is we're going to start on front, front hub, so non-drive side. And we're going to start we're going to put them in first. So we're going to put the innies in first. Find the logo hole here. So the logo is there. Come up, find the hole near that. And I'm going to count three left. So one, two, three, and I'm going to drop my spoke. So that's my first spoke, that's my key spoke, that's the important one. And there's another key one on the other side. Because these are quite thick spokes, they're a bit awkward to get in. So I'm just going to drop all these in. Ugh. And I'm going to just keep my finger on that one. As I say, this video that I'll link you to um, does it in a very similar way that I do. I've just dropped that one. So, just drop these in. Every other hole around. I can hear somebody gardening already out there. I'm going to need another couple because I've picked up eight. Two more, and then I'm going to get my rim, and then we're going to find the valve hole again, which is here, and I'm going to put it away from me like this, and find my valve hole because now I've moved it, I've lost it, and because we counted left, we're going to go to the um, the eyelet in the rim that's to the left of the valve hole, which happens to be up as well, so that's correct. Right, and then I'm going to drop a nipple on the end of that. Now, what I will do is I'm just going to check in a second. And I'm going to turn that over because I want the writing facing the same way as the rim. Because these are offset, it won't make any difference if I turn that over, I don't think, but I'm just going to check. So I'll turn it over, yep, yeah, and it's still up, so now the writing's all the same way. Mind you, the writing's printed on both sides, so it doesn't matter, they've changed it. It doesn't matter, okay. So just to the left, in this case. So, uh, dropping it. And then I'm going to go, I'm doing three cross, so it's 36 hole, three cross, get the next spoke, so the next one in my pattern that I've got, count three, put it in the fourth hole, so miss three, put it in the fourth one, so one, two, three, four, goes in there, get a spoke nipple, just put it on just a few turns, three, get one, one, two, Three, fourth one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I've missed one. Look, I've missed one. That should have been that one. 
because I'm trying to look at the camera as well. I'm not truly watching what I'm doing. One, two, three, four. You just have to go and check that you've got the right spacing as well. Put those near us, I'm not reaching as far. It's a nice day out there today. I'm going to do a Zwift race later. Get the right one. There we go. One, two, three, four. So they don't take that long to lace up. One, two, three, four. Just keep dropping them on. One, two, three, four. I'll probably fast forward this bit. And the final one in this one, this series. One, two, three, four. Right. So that now, we've got the hub suspended in the middle. So, we've got this now, we're going to put it down so the ones I've already done at the bottom. That's my key spoke sticking up here next to the valve hole. We're going to twist the hub. If I twist it this way, the angle of the spoke and the valve hole here, it closes in on where you put your valve. So you have to turn it the other way so that you keep it parallel or vertical to the rim, 90 degrees. So I've actually turned it right to the right. Follow that spoke down, look down through the holes in the rim, down here, and then I'm going to find the hole that corresponds to that key spoke. And I'm going to drop a spoke in, just drop it down vertically, until I get to the hole that is just behind that head of that key spoke there, so it's this one here, and that's where I put my second key spoke. If I went one more, I'd be in front of it, so it's not that one, it's this one. Drop that in, and then I'm just going to put this one in first, and that goes, because we went right of the first key spoke, it goes in the hole in the rim, to the right of the first key spoke, so it goes in this hole here. I'll put this one in, I'll put a nipple on this and then I'll just drop all the others in. And then I just go around and do these. So again, nipple on that. Right, drop all the others in. Every second hole again. That's the one that drops. And then you just do exactly the same as the other side. You just go around, put them in. I always do that, I always end up dropping them. A bit of a, I think I said this before, these they are a bit awkward to get through because the thicker spokes. So that isn't just easily dropping in. Come on. There we go. It's gone now. Pick up the other two that I dropped. I'm sure I counted eight spokes. Must have been missing one. There we go. Right, so we've put the first one in. So then we just come along and this time you just, again, you just put that one into the right of the next one you've just done. 
I'm going to keep the hub twisted, which starts to get a bit awkward. I mean, it doesn't matter if it untwists because I can just twist it back again. And then to the right. This time you should have, by the time you've done, done this, it'll almost look a bit like a campag. One of those campag wheels where you've got pairs of spokes. I think it's the sets of three, aren't they? Where you will have pairs of parallel spokes all in line. Probably twist this back again after because it's just it'd be easier to hold, but if I don't have it to hold it twisted, it's easier. Gives me more space as well to put the spoke nipples on. So that's the second set of spokes almost in, and then we start doing the, the other side. Right, I've done that wrong, again, because I'm not looking at this, I'm looking at you. So you can see there, you got to just watch for daft things like this where I've got these two. You see the crossed already, so we'll just have to swap those round, I've picked the wrong spoke up. So that one should be in there, and that one should be in there. I usually do put a spoke in a wrong goal or something as I'm doing it because I'm not concentrating. You just got to watch out for it though. Just sort of make sure it looks right as you go along. So I think I've got one more to put in before I start putting the third set in. Right, so again that looks looking right, find my valve hole there, twist to the right. Right, now we can start dropping the next set in. So these are the ones now that the heads are going to be on the inside. So that's looking right, the heads are going to be the, on the inside of the rim. So this doesn't matter where you start this time. We're just going to drop in eight spokes, keep it this way around because we're already this way around. Eight spokes and start dropping in through here. I'll probably do. Some people pick up, I, I just drop them. I'm much quicker to pick up loads, but I just end up dropping them. I'm holding it at a funny angle so you can see what I'm doing hopefully. And as I said this is going to be a three cross build. That's in the way. One more. So that means we cross three spokes and I'll show you how we do that. What I need to do now is turn that over this way and just let them all fan out because otherwise they do that they drop out. But don't matter, I'll put that one in after. I 
I might have to move the angle because you can't see there, can you, really? There we go. Right, so let's just move this camera a bit. Right. So, where's my other one gone? There. Let's feed that back through. This is the one I dropped that fell out. There we are. That's it. Right, so these are going to go three cross. So, what that means, if I pick the camera up, so they're going to go three cross, so means they cross three spokes. So as it crosses this one that I've got my thumb on, where that finger is there, that's one spoke, two spoke, three spokes. So it goes over the first two, over that one, over that one, under this one, the one that I've got my thumb on. And it'll go to that hole on the rim. And then I'll go around and do all the others like that as well. Right, let's hopefully you can see this, so I'm going to go under that one and then into this here. I just need to get a nipple in there. And I can't do this with my fingers now, I have to start using a screwdriver. To just put that on a few times. So you can see there now I've got that spoke in and it's crossed over that one, that one, under this one. And I'll go around and do all that on the other ones now. Next one, one, two, three. Yep. can be a bit awkward sometimes to get them so just line up once you get to this stage it actually gets I think quite easy because it becomes fairly obvious And if things don't quite reach, you have to like give it all a good jiggle. Two, three, that one. Now in theory, these spokes should be the right length, because the rim's the same. And as far as I'm aware, the Shimano different hub, the later hub, hasn't changed in terms of hole size, flange diameter, flange width, all those sorts of things that affect sport length. Don't be afraid to pull and tug at the spokes as you're lacing. I better have some more coffee, it'll be going cold. Oh, I've drunk it all. Is that on? Yeah, that's on. Right. Then, final set of eight spokes. So whilst I'm on this side now, I can drop the spokes through in again. So the heads are on the inside of the wheel. And it should be starting to look now like a wheel. So let's get all those dropped in. Pulled off centre at the minute, so the dish is off because I've only got one set of spokes in. I'm going to do these one at once, or a couple at once, because I only end up dropping them.
what if I just dropped this bolt so last spoke to drop in they're dropped in easier than the other ones right ah, I've got two hung up there just on the other spokes that's it right flip it over getting all these to fan out so they don't fall over and fall through which is what happened last time then this time we're going the opposite way so this time last time I went that way this time I'm going this way so again same again just three cross and it doesn't matter where you start one two three so that will go into this hole here on the rim so over over under so you can see now I'm quite a bit off here but you can pull on it you can give it a good tug and it makes it nearly right then so that'll get on there then drop the, drop the nipple in get it so it's if I can move my finger in the right place, get the screwdriver, give it a few turns. So that's that one in. Go around, do the rest. One, two, three. One, that's not that's not right. Hang on, let me check. One, two, three. One, two. That's not right. Bear with me a sec. Why is that not looking right? That's because I've got the wrong spoke, that's why. I've missed one again. That's that one I want. That's what I mean, you just got to be on the ball and just make sure it looks right as you're doing it. One, two, three. That's right, this is right this time. And you know, just give them a good tug as you're doing it. Right now I'm going to tip those last few out. I need to push that hub. There we go, that's got it. Right, I just gotta jiggle everything round to get to get these last ones.
at this stage this, these spokes almost seem a bit short but I know the right ones are done just because they make it a bit more difficult to laser Yeah, it's giving me issues, is that one. And I've got a few more to go, yeah. It's not going on yet. It's probably one somewhere that's just binding and stopping it from coming down. putting it on my knee so that I can pull better oh, that one's going to be alright actually so final one So there's my valve hole there. So as we look down through the valve hole, we see the logo. And we've got parallel spokes here. It's looking correct. So at this point, one of the things that I've read in the book was you go down and you just push them all down on the crosses. And then we go wheel jig next. That doesn't look right. That one there's not crossed. So I just need to change this one. I need to just check it.
So we'll, we'll last up. Start trimming next. Okay, so we've put the wheel in the wheel jig. I'll just give it a spin. So you see at the moment it's all over the show. But all I've done is just put it together. I just assembled it, I've just laced it. So next what we're going to do is I'm going to go around and on all the spokes we're going to get the same amount of thread showing and I'll just go around and do that slowly and I'll take it down until there's a certain amount and I've got it even all the way around you can see the different some are more than others where I've put them on a bit more than others like this one here there's less showing here than on the others But I won't do that now. Because I'm going to do a Zwift race in a bit, so I'll probably do this later on today now, so I'll probably pick this up later on today. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 